My name is Wesley Borkhart, and the name of our farm is Bryway Farms. We milk about between 60 to 65 cows. I try to keep the robot full because I only have one. We installed it in 2008. We were the first farm in Wisconsin to get a robotic milker. Um, our stanchions were junk. Our barn cleaner was junk. So we had to replace everything and still have the same amount of work or do something totally different. So we decided to do something totally different and save on some labor. The reason we chose D. Lavelle was basically at that time uh, the competitors didn't want to do uh, an installation in an existing barn and when the D. Lavelle people came they didn't see a problem with it. Uh, the other robots were not all stainless at that time. Their mainframes were triple galvanized steel and uh, this machine seemed like it was built for longevity and also they um, said that new parts that become available are backwards adaptable so you always can have uh, an updated robot and that uh, seemed very uh, a very positive approach to me. Well, I think the quarter milking really helped to cut down on mastitis incidents and the fact that they can get milked three sometimes four times a day really helps the high producers Oh, the cows love it. There's no question about that. Before we bought the robot, my wife was worried about the cows becoming excitable with no human contact, and uh, just the opposite has happened. Our cows are so calm. We, we clean when the cows are in the barn with a skid loader, and we practically have to push them out of the way. They're so, they're so calm. Uh, for my personal life, um, you don't have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning if you don't want to. <laughs> as long as the cows have feed to eat, I don't worry about them. So you still have to do chores, but you can set your own schedule. You don't have to set, your schedule is not, oh, what do I want to say? Your schedule is not set by your milking time. Um, now I focus on, well, a lot more on reproduction than I did before. And uh, a lot more on just entering information in um, so that I know exactly what each cow is doing every step of the lactation. Yes, I would recommend the VMS to other farmers, and I have recommended it to other farmers. We have lots of people that stop out and view our robot. Our um, Deal of dealer has been excellent. I, I can't say one bad word about that. When we started up, they had people here pushing cows uh, for almost two days, and um, it was not a bad experience, and they've been very good at support. We did have a lightning strike uh, where it wiped out $27,000 worth of equipment and we were milking within I believe six hours after the strike, doing some of it manually but within 12 hours we had it up and running so our, our dealer is excellent. Yes I would, I would recommend to others. We've had quite a few visitors here and people ask me why we did it. Um, the future is not the past, there's no question about that. Uh, if you want to uh, get a job done. If you want to do it the way your grandfather did, you can still do it that way, but uh, that's not for me. There's more important things in life than, than working 24 hours a day, and dairying is probably one of the hardest farming operations there is to handle, and this has completely changed the way we function, and it's been positive.